Hi there, I'm Budem and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. Today, I want to talk about the importance and the power of alternative tunings. What is an alternative tuning? Well, it's a tuning that it's an alternative to the standard tuning. It's a, a standard tuning with some changes. There are a lot of reasons for you to want to play with alternative tunings. First of all, they make you play differently because your muscle memory goes away. What you call a knee major chord in a different tuning is no longer a knee major chord. So you need to play more with your head and heart than with your fingers to get to where you want to go. And that will uh, make you go in different ways and, and inspire you to, to make new songs, to write in a new way. Uh, also, the alternative tunings makes the guitar sound very different. So uh, you are one more time inspired by, by that different tone that your guitar has. Uh, and it's amazing for, for doubling guitars when you, when you record a guitar and then you want to do a second guitar doing the same thing. Instead of doing the same thing, tune your guitar or have another guitar tuned into an alternative tuning and f figure out how to play the, the same uh, chords or the same harmony, but with a different tuning. It will really open uh, your sound and will be, you'll get a fatter and way bigger tone than, than you have from doubling two, two guitars. Well, there are a lot of different tunings because you can basically do whatever you want. Today, I will talk about the tunings I use and how I use it. The first one is the simplest one and it's just a drop D tuning. What is a drop D? You have a regular tuning, which is E, A, D, G, B, and E. That's your standard tuning. The drop B means you drop the low E to D. So you detune it, you lower the pitch from E to D. It's very useful when you're playing in D, of course, because you'll get the low D. You also get the power chords, instead of playing it like this, you will have to play it like this. So you have a bar for power chords. So you can do... And you have a special fingering uh, Killing in the name is probably one of the best known. Standard drop D tuning. The next tuning is dad gad, which means you tune the guitar to D, A, D, 
G A D. Though Tadkin. It's probably best known for for Kashmir, uh, Zeppelin's Kashmir. <laughs> And it's a very strange tuning because it has uh, you have if you if you play all the strings open you have a fourth in here if you press the um, G string on the second fret you will have B A B instead of the G you have an A another A and a D so you you have only D's and A's which means you have um, the, the root and the fifth So you have a lot of uh, drone, drony thing, even without the freeze. Which leaves you all the all the open strings available for you to play and then you can play a, a single melody in just one string that's how i use the the dead get tuning the next tuning i'd like to show you is the open g tuning what is an open g tuning it's basically a g major chord played with all the strings uh, open so you have a d in the low string, which is the five, a G, which is the root, another D, which is the five, a G, the root, a B, which is the, the, the third, and another D. So you have an open... It's amazing for playing with slide because it, it, since when you play with slide, you cannot, uh, you only, you can only play bars, 
you, this way you can play a blues with three bars. First, fourth, and you have all your chord in here. Next tuning in chain is the open E tuning. The same principle as, as it is with the open G, but this is in E major. What I've done is I've, I've changed these three th strings to make them sound as in the regular tuning being pressed on this position. So I've raised the A for a B, I've raised the D to an E, and I've raised the G to a G sharp, G sharp. So, I have my E major chord. And the first time I, I tuned my guitar to open E was because of Derek Trucks. It's the tuning he, he uses the most. And I, tr I tried to play uh, outside the open G tuning with the slide, but I, I could never get my head around it. But once I made it, I instantly wrote a song. And it was all because of this tuning. So that's why I, I continue to express my, uh, my, my, the huge importance and the power that alternative tunings have on you. Because they make you play different. Again, if you play a, a E chord. doesn't fit right but it, it makes you play
The next tuning is an open C. Again, an open chord with all your str open strings. This time, um, a C chord, C major chord. So we have a C, G, C, G, C, and E. Having this low string so low, it's amazing because it gives you almost a bass. You can do beautiful diatonic melodies and songs with this, um, with this tuning. But I also use it uh, for very dirty, low, fuzzy uh, tunes like One in a Million, for example, from Buddha Power Blues. One thing I love about this open C tuning is that you have a lot of octaves. You have a C here, and then a G, and then another C. So you can play a lot of... And that's an amazing thing with... The other tuning I want to show you is the so-called Nashville tuning, which is basically you raise one octave up this five, this four low strings. So you end up with a really high-pitched guitar. It's amazing for doubling uh, a regular guitar or for adding just some shine on the music. I'll play you a chord progression and then I will play it with the Nashville tuning. So first with the standard tuning.
As you can see, or as you can hear, this is a very high pitched guitar. It almost sounds like a ukulele or a strange guitar. <laughs> But the great thing about it is that you play it as you play a regular guitar. You only sound different because it's tuned differently. It's tuned really higher. And this is an amazing trick to use in, in the studio. The last tuning I want to show you is the baritone. The baritone tuning is simply lowering a fifth to your guitar. So you, you have the exact same tuning relatively of course but your lower string instead of being a B it's a instead of being an E it's a B so you have a really low tuning I don't have a, a baritone guitar but I have it in my very axe which which has the ability to change tunings uh, digitally so I have my regular E chord and at the press of a button I have my B chord. So this is a very powerful um, tuning too. It's very low. You you can even play not only um, you can play this uh, aggressive stuff. But you can also play in, in the country way. Well, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed the show. So please subscribe the channel and share it with your friends. Let me know how you feel about alternative tunings. Which one do you use or which ones do you use? If you have any question, please ask it on the comments. 
I will be more than happy to answer it. This is a community we're building here. So it only makes sense if you are on that side. So please share it and let's make it as big as possible so we, we can all learn uh, when we can all use this information. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.